Engine firing is an interesting topic and definitely not easy to understand. I'm not the perfect one to explain it to you. There are better guys, but there are reasons to alter it. Engine behavior, vibrations and balance, reliability and or sound. Recently an uneven firing was explained with particular examples. Now we'll look specifically into different V4 engines. Ford SAX and Taunus A V4 is a very rare configuration in automobiles. Ford however had two series roughly at the same time, the SAX built in the UK and Taunus produced in the Cologne factory in Germany. Both had a 60 degree V angle, but the SAX V4 had shared crank pins which means a firing order of an inline crossplane or boxer 4 cylinder 1324. On the other hand, the Ford Taunus V4 built slightly longer than the SAX received 60 degree split crank pins to even up the firing. Therefore, its firing order of 1342 was the same as a flat plane straight 4 and life with it was more pleasant. In fact, the SAX V4 had its own problems unlike the Taunus. Honda NSR 500. The initial NSR 500 was not that good as its later version. It had many flaws, one of which was the engine's design. It was a 90 degree V4 with 180 degree crank pins firing like a screamer. This is a name for an even firing engine. Honda VFR-1200F The VFR-1200F has a very special firing. The engine features a 76 degree V while the crank pins are spaced 28 degree after each other. They are not split however which according to Honda provides a perfect primary balance without a balancing shaft. Besides, they made the rear bank narrower by putting conrod big ends on the inner side of the crankshaft journals, spacing front cylinders more apart. Aprilia RSV4 The RSV4 has this strange V angle for a simple reason. Anything wider would ruin bike's weight distribution in the chassis, so they went with this option, still wide enough for adequate throttle bodies. The crankshaft had a normal 180 degree timing, but the lack of split crank pins mean there is a big 245 degree gap between the second and third cylinders as a result of a 180 degree crank timing plus 65 degree V angle. Yamaha VMAX 1200 
The right angle between the banks is said to be ideal for a V-shaped four cylinder. The V-Max, however, did not follow this rule either, possibly for packaging reasons. With an angle of 70 degree and 180 degree crank throws, it fires 1324, making it an uneven firing engine. Theoretically, it fires the same way as the RSV4, with a difference of few degrees. Ducati Desmo Sedici RR The Desmo Sedici RR has the ideal 90 degree angle of a V4, even called the L4, but they changed the firing on purpose with 70 degree spray crank throws. Ducati calls it twin pulse firing, and they explain it as the best compromise between drivability, traction, and transmission reliability. Honda VFR 750RC30 Like the Desmo Sedici, the RC30 has also unique firing intervals. They have the same design from the outside, but the crankshaft was very different, with 360 degree throws. Its design may remind you two 90 degree V twins firing one revolution later after each other. Thus it fires two cylinders closely with a bigger time gap until the other two do as well. They call it the Droner with this firing. In 1987 Honda NSR 500. Three years later, after the NSR 500's introduction, major changes occurred. The V angle was widened from 90 to 112 degree. It received four larger carburetors, and the firing also changed, obviously. It was called the Big Bang firing, and theoretically, it is the same as the Droner, only twice as strong as it was a two stroke. Hello?